ಸ್ವಹಂ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ನೀಮಹಿ ಧಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧಂ So Saram everyone, uh, let's continue our um, satsangs on our beloved Swami Sri Satya Sai. And uh, this video uh, I'm based on my uh, book, one of my book, which is uh, Satya Sai Baba, Supernatural Experiences and Divine Transformation. That's volume number three and um, it's in a free domain and uh, all the links just next to the video okay let's uh, speak about uh, chapter number eight and um, the, the name of the chapter title goes like a mystery of the cosmic egg so of course that's about shivalingam okay one of the most um, famous, mysterious and misunderstood actually is the uh, symbolism of Shivalingam. Okay, I have just one Shivalingam uh, with me, so you can see that's the shape like egg, but in this case it's um, like black stone one and that's very unusual Lingam because it's created, materialized by um, such a sign for me and uh, basically just for you to see not only the lingam but the shape normally it's like classical egg and of course it can be very small it can be even huge in size and in a different uh, mostly of course Shiva temple across India and globally as well we have uh, so many examples like in the okay, Shiva temples uh, they have uh, Shivalingam as the main object of worship and uh, of course um, if we just think uh, about uh, who is Shiva or better to say what does it mean Shiva and we have uh, plenty of uh, choices how can we understand what does it mean Shiva because according to certain approach or we can say according to certain level of understanding Shiva means okay certain Hindu God with uh, four or maybe six arms etc with a third eye or different symbols of Shiva like etc moon on the top like you know but actually, according to the uh, deep esoteric understanding, Shiva means not certain Hindu God, but Shiva means absolute consciousness. Of course, in some uh, Hindu scriptures, they speak about Shiva um, as, okay, maybe kind of uh, uh, Hindu God, but in the most advanced uh, scriptures, when they pronounce the name Shiva means absolute consciousness, just absolute. So it means when we speak about Shivalingam or this kind of uh, object, it's a symbol of absolute consciousness, not certain Hindu God, but absolute consciousness in the most universal sense of the word. Okay. And um, of course, um, it is very uh, famous actually the, for, for not only for the devotees but for uh, just everyone that our beloved Swami Sri Satyasai he um, just materialized so many different objects, including this Shivalingas. And um, okay, sometimes uh, he could materialize. Uh, different different objects like rings or coins with um, certain Hindu gods or rosaries from different materials during his interviews so personal meetings with devotees or visitors uh, but of course um, sometimes he materialized 
this special Shivalingams uh, during Shivaratri festival. And that was a very special event and okay, Shivaratri festival is a special night um, and exactly which night, okay, approximately it's uh, February or March, but according to the lunar calendar, it's a special okay, um, uh, night and a special day. Uh, finally, which is very important and very auspicious if we uh, speak about meditation, contemplation and the spiritual transformation. And uh, of, of course, um, okay, for sure we can say that Shivaratri festival uh, was the most uh, important festival, Vedic Hindu festival, uh, okay, in the Satya Sai Ashram, Prashanti Nilayam, that's the name of the ashram, and the place is put party, okay, at that time, village. Now, of course, it's town, um, etc. Yeah, and this Shivaratri festival is the most important event in Satisai Ashram, and exactly uh, during that uh, night, very holy, special night, uh, Satisai materialized. Um, number of Shivalingams and the way how he materialized was really amazing. He, he did it from his mouth. And um, okay, let's uh, quote a little bit um, from my book, chapter okay, number eight, third volume. Well, it is impossible to, to fully understand the process of uh, the birth um, of the sacred lingam. I tried to find out from some older devotees exactly how this happened. Well, uh, actually I came to put part of that was beginning of 90s and at that time I was something like 21, 22 years old, okay, 22 actually. And yeah, I was fortunate to meet a number of devotees, um, older devotees, older spiritually and of course, um, if to speak about the age. And um, interestingly, two people told me the same version uh, um, about this fact um, uh, that they themselves learned this directly from Satisai. So it means um, I met uh, two devotees, two different devotees who told me okay, how actually it's, it happened that Satisai materialized this Shivalingams during Shivaratri night, how it's actually happened. Because what uh, all devotees um, can see even now while watching all the videos just a final step, final stage of this process. Uh, but then two devotees they came to know about um, this uh, process directly from Satisai. And one of those who told me about the process of the birth of the lingam was uh, Padananda, or better to say Swami. Padananda, very famous yeah, old devotee and he passed away, I'm not sure when, but something about 2001. And um, a little later, uh, Mr. Subarao told me the same version of this story. Okay, and Mr. Subarao, also extremely famous uh, individual, a great devotee and ex-politician, um, and actually he was, yeah, both of them highly spiritual and uh, respected personalities. Okay, according to those um, two uh, devotees, uh, the lingam originates in the stomach of Satisai as the powerful energy, and then this energy flow rises through his body and requires uh, in the shape of the lingam, actually something like this, uh, came only uh, in Satisai's mouth. So it means according to this version, 
according to this story, according to this opinion of okay, Swami Padananda and the second person is Mr. Subaral. Okay, the energy first started in such a side stomach and then you know uh, this powerful energy just went up and then this shape um, appeared only in in the mouth of uh, such a sign then the lingam lit literally yeah literally pops out of the mouth consequently the people presented at that time in the cycle call so in the main temple of the ashram so only the last stage of the last step of this process of the birth of the cosmic lingam okay this uh, lingam is uh, so was materialized uh, not for the shivaratri but just personally for me but um, um, of course some of that lingams which such as I uh, materialized uh, during Shivaratri, he okay he gave it to the different devotees including um, by the way uh, this Swami Padananda well in this video I just uh, share with uh, um, a certain opinion certain story a certain version but it's um, uh, you know um, version this story this opinion actually it has a very authentic source like two very respectful uh, well respected devotees like Padananda and um, Mr. Subaral so I just want to share with this um, story with this information uh, and it's yeah very important I think for us yeah to know how it's actually happened so Sarah God bless you see you next time Suhan Tat Savitur Variniam Barago de Vasiani Mahi Dio Yonah Prachoda Yantam